Hi, welcome back. I'm Mary Jo, also known as Sojo, and this is my channel where I talk about all my quilty stitchy things. And today is May 19th, 2024, and this is my weekly update, number 64. Well, it's been another week. Now, I will say this week I will be releasing a trunk show, probably around Thursday or Friday. And you might want to watch that trunk show because I'm going to be giving away one of the quilts in that trunk show. So you'll have to watch it and see maybe it's anyone you, anyone you like. And then the whole giveaway will be giving on my next weekly update. So weekly update 65 is where you'll actually enter for that giveaway. Now, and unfortunately, that giveaway will have to be limited to the U.S. only um, just because I can't afford to ship overseas and I really don't know how because I've never done that before. So anyway, let's talk about what I did this week. I didn't manage to get anything quilted on the long arm. Um, I didn't get to go over to my parents to do that, but I did get a quilt top finished, finished some more crocheted socks. I finished a, um, another cross stitch sampler and I worked on some other piecing projects. So let's take a look at everything and I'm going to hang the quilt top up that I finished. So this is the quilt top I finished this week. Now this is called Boxed In and this was something I had got at Polar Fabrics over in Indiana and it is a kit that's basically five one yard cuts of fabric and then when you buy it you get to pick out a pattern. And that was the pattern I picked out. There it is. We'll go in and take a closer look at it. So there is the top, and we're just working our way down here. I think when I quilt this, I will probably quilt it with a butterfly pantograph, just because there's butterflies in some of those blocks. Okay. Now I also finished these little fabric baskets. Now these were part of a Creative Notion subscription box. There we go. And because how they're made, they've got these little triangles right there. And they are perfect for sliding some little snips or scissors in. There we go to keep those or the bigger one with some scissors sliding right in there. So I made those and there's some other baskets I'm still working on with that subscription box because that subscription box was from a while ago and I'll show that when we get to them. Then I worked on another Creative Notion subscription box from quite a while ago. I do typically work on my subscription box is in order. It's just I'm so far behind. Of course, I no longer get Creative Notions anyway, but this is the pattern I'm working on. Now I have got all of these pieces cut out and I've started piecing everything. So I've started piecing all the letters and the pen wheels, the hearts, the house. Everything is in some form of construction. Well, I did have it all in order and now it fell apart on me, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. But they're all in some form of construction, but I don't have any of the actual blocks all the way together to show progress on yet, but we're working on it. So let's see what else I got. This 
then we're working on these other Creative Notions box. And this is from December of 2021. And these were all those baskets. Let's see. And these were all the different baskets. Like I, those were those two I just showed you a little bit ago. I'm still working on this one and this big one. So I have that sewn to or that nine pack sewn and I've got it pinned to some flex foam. We're also all the way around there. And then I've got that bigger basket pinned to some flex foam, which I'm going to quilt before doing the next step. And I'll just probably do some straight line quilting quarter inch away from the seams. But I worked on all of that. And then let's see what else I worked on. I worked on a sew sampler project. I worked on this, the swallows quilt pattern. I'm not very far along, but I got some progress making some flying geese. I guess they're not flying geese because they're <laughs> other quarters like that. And a bunch of other pieces all in here. Like I said, not very far along, but they're all cut, pinned, ready to go to the next step. Okay, I am not doing very good today with keeping everything organized because I've got it pulled out everywhere. They're falling out. <laughs> All right. Next thing I worked on was another sew sampler project. And this is the shooting stars. So basically I'm just adding borders now. So that is almost done. See, I got the side borders pinned on, then I just have to do the top border. Let's see here. <clears throat> There's where we are with that. And then I have about four other sewing projects I worked on. We'll take a look at it. Now I also did month four of the Rose and Bloom Block of the Month book. Now I am not using these fabrics that are shown on the front. Mine are much different. different. And I finished block four this week, which is... these but mine are a little bit different because I'm not using those fabrics so we got that one that one number three and number four so it'll be interesting to see how my quilt all turns out once all those blocks are done and sewn Now, <laughs> let's see what else I did. Okay. Another sew sampler project. I worked on lots of sew sampler stuff this week. <laughs> I think I'm, you know, I'm over two years behind. We'll get caught up one day maybe. But I worked on this. The daydreamers pattern. And this is where I am. I've got these pen together. Like you said, there's the pens from the back. I've got all of those blocks pinned together. So once those are sewn, I can start adding them all into a quilt top and then add some borders. So I did that. And 
since I finished that quilt behind me, I started on a new one. And this pattern is, let's see, Blocky Block. Again, and this is another of those kits from Polar Fabrics where there's five one yard cuts of fabrics and then you pick out a pattern. And my fabrics are not that, <laughs> which shown in the pattern. Let's see if I can pull some of these out. Okay. Let's see if I can show you some of the fabrics. We got this. And this is a blue that goes around it. And then I'm making some strip sets with that. And then that last fabric is this for borders. Well, this will be an inner border. That's an outer border. And this is binding. So, now I cut all that out and started pinning that together. Now with this quilt top behind me, that means I have finished 15 quilt tops this year. So far. Now let's see. Oh. Then I worked on the sew sampler, wipe out the snail trail pattern. Then now this is paper pieced. However, for this paper piecing pads, here's my paper piecing pads. You need to start off with making a floor patch in the center, and then you can start doing your paste paper piecing. So there's all my four patches I've got penned, ready to sew to be done. So that's where I am with that. Not very far. <clears throat> and then I worked on this Jolly Bar pattern. Now this is strawberry lemonade from <clears throat> um, Cherry and Chelsea. Let's see, so here's my block so far because I am not doing the Jolly Bar pattern that came with us. Because a Jolly Bar is a five by 10 pre-cut fabric that you use exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop. In that, because it comes with a free pattern. And this was a free pattern that came with it. Although I did not want to do that. So I used one of Fat Quarter Shop's Jolly Bar books and I'm doing the shoe fly quilt. So that's where we are. So, like I said, I've got these pinned together. So basically, it goes like this and then rotates. We'll have another one over here, another one down here, and then another one over there. So there'll be four. That all goes together to make those units there. Okay. So that is everything that I have worked on as far as quilting and piecing goes this week. So cross stitch, what did I do for cross stitch? Well, I've been working on the, these monthly samplers, sampler of the month. This is June. What the pattern is, this is mine. June's all done, and then we have July. So this is July's, and this is what I worked on this week. There's where we are there. Now once I get July's done, I will do June and July and into that finished product that I showed last week into that easel. I will make those. I usually like to do at least two at a time. I don't like doing just one, just me. <laughs> so as soon as I get July's done, I'll be doing that so I could put June's up on my easel because June is just right around the corner. So I worked on that for cross stitch and then for crochet. I was working on these socks kits. Now this was a subscription box that I used to get from Leather Co. Hooked on socks. And with that, you would get a sock set of yarn and a pattern and a stitch marker. 
and this was the sock pattern that came with it and it came with your mains your main hank and then a mini hank <clears throat> now usually i will do a medium sock on it and i can get two pair of socks out of, out of it however with the second pair i usually can't get the whole thing out of the mini skein so i have to modify a little bit just using more of the main collar and these socks is it's 85 percent superwash merino 15 percent nylon and this is the Ocadia socks because their theme was national parks. And here are my Arcadia socks. There's the one set. Now these have this fold over cuff. And like I said, I did not have enough yarn to do the purple up here. So I just did a stripe there and just used that main color to make those socks. So I made two pair of socks and then I started making a cardigan. Now I am using this sock yarn to make this cardigan so it's going to be a thinner cardi cardigan. And because this is a super thin sock weight yarn, it's gonna take me a little bit to get this cardigan done because, well, it's just thin. So this is a number one super fine yarn, um, cotton collage. It is a cotton and merino blend, I believe. Yep, 46% cotton, 33% super washed fine merino wool, 12% polyamide, 9% PBT, and I have no idea what PBT is. But anyway, it's a sock yarn. And this was yarn that I had got on clearance at Hobby Lobby several years ago now. And this is where I am, just working on that back panel. This is the back panel of the cardigan. And this, let me show you the picture if I can find it. There we go, there's the cardigan. Now I have made this cardigan a couple times, so I know the pattern works well. So I'll be working on that for a while. Um, I'm hoping I have enough of this. We'll see, <laughs> because I can't buy more because it's been discontinued. But we'll make it work somehow. Okay, then for the last thing, it's my diamond painting. Let me show you that. Okay, there's a look of what the picture is supposed to look like when it's all done. Let me bring it back and I'll show you where I am. All right, so there it is. So that is everything that I have worked on this week. Just a reminder, be sure to watch that trunk show that will be coming out later in the week, probably Thursday or Friday, and then my next weekly update, I'll be giving one of those quilts away. All right, till next time. Bye!